in the days of the voice of the seventh angel. It's got to be a prophet. Because it's got to be somebody that's gifted and set there that catches the word. It'll have to be a prophet to take up the mysteries of God to bring it back because the mysteries is only renewed by the prophets. So it has to be this fellow come. Here come a man that knows none of the school. Just came out of fellowship cause. <laughs> Nobody ever knowed he ever went to school a day in his life. He couldn't even tell it by song. He didn't even talk in terms of, a, of Ecclesiastes. He talks about serpents, axes, wilderness. He comes sassafras, as we call it here in Indiana. He comes out of the bushes somewhere. Here he comes stomping out to the wilderness like that. Sit down the voice of one crying in the wilderness. The hell away from the Lord to make the pain pass away. Crying in the wilderness. One voice proclaiming righteousness. What he's called to do One man faithful and true One voice I knew that a thousand swords All an out
When she came up to draw water, he said, bring me a drink, woman. She said, it's not customary for you to say that. We have segregation here. Now, you Jews have nothing to do with us Samaritans. We have nothing to do with you. He said, but woman, if you knew who you were talking to, you'd ask me for a drink. I'll give you water so you don't come here to draw. He found where her condition was, what it was. He said, go get your husband to come here. She said, I don't have any husband. He said, you said the truth. You've had five. And the one you're living with now is not yours. She said, sir, I perceive that thou art a prophet. We know when the Messiah cometh. He'll show us these things. Jesus said, I am he. On that, she ran into the city and said, come see a man who's told me the things I've done. Isn't this the very Messiah? Watch, he did that before the Jews and the Samaritans, but never the Gentiles. The Gentiles, we people were heathens in them days. The other nations packed a club on her back, worshiping idols. We wasn't looking for no Messiah. He only appears to those who is looking for him. And we are supposed to be looking for him. But those who claim to be looking for him, the church itself, when they seen that done, they said he's a devil. He's a fortune teller. A Beelzebub. And Jesus said that sin would be forgiven them because he hadn't died yet. But said someday the Holy Ghost will come and do the same thing and to speak one word against it will never be forgiven. That's this day where every word has to hang together. Speak a word against it will never be forgiven in this world and the world to come. That was the royal seed of Abraham. And here that royal seed of Abraham which come because of that identification of that man sitting there with Abraham come to prove it was the same God promised it in this day as it was in the days of Sodom, so shall it be in the coming of the Son of Man when He is revealing Himself as Son of Man. Amen. One voice proclaiming righteousness. How do you do, lady? Do you believe me to be God's prophet? Is, I mean, well, a prophet is a preacher. You don't expect me to be of the enemy. You expect me to be of God. Is that the way you expect it? Well, then I can help you. Or he told me if I would get the people to believe me and be sincere when I prayed, that nothing would stand before the prayer. And now it isn't the I that helps, it's God that does the healing. I questioned, I said, they won't believe me. He said, there'll be two signs given to you, as was to the prophet Moses. In this, the people will believe. And one of them was to reveal the secrets of the hearts of the people to them. Now, you're not here for yourself, although you're nervous and run down, but it's been caused by a disease of this child. This child here is suffering. It's been turned down by the doctors to die. It's leukemia. Isn't that right? You brought the child from out of town. You've traveled, coming from the west, coming east, you have come. You've come from a, a state that has mountains. It's Pennsylvania. And your city, I believe it's Chambersburg, isn't that right? Bring the child to me. Little sister here, the Lord Jesus was here. He'd lay his hands up on you, and death would leave you, and you'd live. Do you believe that I am his servant? Then in his stead I lay my hands on this child and bless it and ask that the demon leave the child and that life comes to the child and it will live and be well. Come out of the child, Satan, by the authority of God's Bible with the divine gift ministered by an angel, I adjure thee to leave the child. I'm from you. 